In this video with the Anking, we'll be talking about the Anki app shortcuts. This includes the quick bar at the top while you're reviewing, as well as the tools panel. It's super useful. Okay, so let's talk about our shortcut options on the Anki iPad app. If we click on our deck to go and review our cards, we'll see that here at the top we have a shortcut bar called the quick bar and a tools button that takes us to a tools menu with various options. So to change those and set them to what we want, we'll click on our settings in the top right, go to review, and go to tool buttons. We can set up the 12 shortcuts on that tools menu. We recommend things like mark, suspend, bury, stats, delete, and to set those, you'll click on any of the buttons, scroll through this list, and click on the one you want to change it to. Then when we go back, it would be there. I personally don't love the tool buttons because it's a lot of steps to get there. For me, the quick bar is way more useful because it's the shortcuts that pop up right at the top. And so again, we'll do it set it the same way. You'd click on one and you'd change it to what you think it should be. I personally recommend that you have five quick bar options that should be edit, suspend card, bury card, find, and set due date. But you can adjust those to your own needs and your own preferences. The reality is that you should set these to make it convenient for you to use the app. I should mention that the iPad app can have more bars across the top and more boxes here on their tools menu simply because there is more space than on the phone. Thanks for learning with The On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.